Hi, I'm JD, and what I'm going to be doing today is basically showing you how can you, that you can use the TI-30 so that you can check rational equations and even other equations that can get really just nasty and weird. Especially if you end up getting your you get your answer and it turns out to be a fraction. When you plug that into a rational equation, you have like fractions within fractions. And sometimes, you know, you have x's in the numerators, you have x's all over the place. It's a it's a crazy just mess. So let's say that you did all your work, you get x equals 1. Now you want to check your answer. I mean, you could plug it in, you know, uh, find a common denominator, do all those things, and then see if both sides are equal. You can do that. That's perfectly up to you. Or you can simply know how to use your calculator. So I would just recommend using your calculator if you're able to use it anyways. So might as well take advantage of it. So what you want to do when you type, when you're doing the calculator, you want to use, there's going to be mainly two buttons, uh, store or stow and memvar. Memvar is going to have all the variables in storage. So first you have to store them. So take the one and you want to store it as a variable. So press stow and it's gonna give you a selection of variables, A, B, C, whatever. I just like selecting A because that's the first one. So now you have that, so one is stored as A. So wherever there's an A, it's gonna replace it with a one. So clear. Now I'm gonna type in one side, I'm gonna type in the other side. So three divided by parentheses, and wherever there's an X, I'm going to replace with an A. Now in this case, it will be easy to plug in one, but again, what if you have like a two-thirds? Or what if you have like a seven-fifths or, or something even crazier? And plus there's always human error, and there's human error on two parts. <laughs> you know, doing the work and then even type in a calculator, <laughs> you could still make errors. Uh, one over, and again, put parentheses to say it's dividing the whole thing. So, A uh, minus two, parentheses. And you get some crazy number. And so you could write it down that's probably what you should do. It's minus 0 0.71428 uh, So just type it all out and then clear. And then you want to type in the other side and you want to see if both sides are equal. So 4. Now what you have to do here when you're typing in this denominator is put parentheses around the whole thing. So you're going to put one set of parentheses and then within those set of parentheses put the denominator. So that would be uh, another a plus six parentheses parentheses again a minus two close parentheses and then close parentheses again for the denominator and then push uh, enter. You get negative 0 0.5714285711. Those are equal to each other. So x equals 1, that is a solution. And that's how you use a calculator to check your work. That's it.